James Ito writes, Hi Collider, I love your show. I watch it every day. With the new history film, Bridge of Spies, directed by Steven Spielberg, coming out next month, my question involves a history versus Hollywood approach. I think that a movie's primary objective is to entertain, but I have a lot of history friends who think differently and say the historical inaccuracies are too much for them, i.e. Braveheart 1995, great movie. In my opinion, if a historian wants a 100% accurate movie, then they should watch documentaries. Am I wrong for saying that? Um, no, actually, you just kind of echoed what I've said for a long time about it. Look, do I like it when a movie based on historical events can be as close as possible to the historical events? Yes, that's that's always great. But the first responsibility of a filmmaker, the first responsibility of a movie is not to give me a history lesson. That is not the responsibility of the movie. The responsibility of the movie is to give me an entertaining time at the movie. Give me something that I have an emotional experience at, whether it's happiness, excitement, joy, fear, shock, whatever. You got to give me that emotional experience when I go. And that means you got to take some creative license with it. Now, are there some things that are taboo that you should not touch? Sure, yes, I guess. But even in like um, Inglorious Bastards, they totally changed history <laughs> in that movie, like with Hitler in World War II, and it was for the benefit of the movie. I mean, so no, I've never bought into this idea that they got this wrong. This conversation with that guy never happened in this place. It actually happened in this place. I don't give an F. I really don't. I went there to see a movie. If I want to be educated, I should pick up a book or watch a documentary that does have the onus to be completely accurate, at least as much as possible. So yeah, for me, I completely agree with you. I don't care about historical inaccuracies in movies. The movies are there to be movies. Take creative license to give me the best possible movie that you can. Stay true if you can. Absolutely, the more you can stay true and give a good movie, bonus. That's awesome when you can do that. Otherwise, it's not my primary concern. Schnepp, as a documentary filmmaker, right. how do you see this? I, I agree. I think uh, films are to entertain and uh, documentaries are to inform. <clears throat> and I also think uh, there's a split that happens when you go to see a movie like Lincoln or you see Lincoln Vampire Hunter. So one of those <laughs> movies is going to be a little bit closer to maybe some historical accuracies than, say, the other one, which <laughs> has got some vampires in it. So like, if you're going to go see a movie about Benjamin Franklin... You're probably, and you want to learn something, maybe like instead of reading a book, you might want to see the more historical Ben Franklin film and not the robot killing, you know, Ben Franklin that time travels with the Yetis. So, I mean, that's going to, it's going to throw you off a little bit if you're like, I remember, I remember seeing the movie with Ben Franklin and the Yetis and, and I, they still, they're still hiding the Yetis, but I believe in them. So. The Yetis are what got him to France. Yes. Just pointing that out. And they call them something weird in Australia. I think they call them blueies, or they have some other word for the Yetis. But anyway, uh, yeah, I think it's really important to not worry about historical accuracy or any kind of like reality when you enter a film, even if it's based on a true story. Because usually, even if it says based on a true story, they're lying to you. I mean, that's just how it is. It's like they're tricking you when they say, even Fargo, a lot of people are like, that happened. It was like totally all made up. Yeah, I, I got it. I got to give it to the artist and creative license in overtime, though. Plus, when the movie comes on, it always says based on a true story. It yeah, never that's says that's the word based. Yeah, right? it, nev it never says everything that happened in this movie is true. I think there's one movie that actually says everything here is, uh, yeah, is yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. And I think that movie is a spoof. That's film. Blair Witch. <laughs> it's it's like, something like yeah, that. Something like even yeah. more lies. But yeah. yeah, I mean, I get like if you sat down in Braveheart and you were sitting there next to William Wallace, he'd probably say, yeah, all, all this stuff happened. If you're watching it next to Longshanks, he'd probably be like, none of this crap is true. Mm -hmm. But it's entertaining. And if the movie's that good, then maybe it makes you want to explore whatever period in history you're talking about. So as somebody who is a history buff, I like it when things are accurate. I prefer that. If not, I can get over it because, again, it is just a movie and an excuse to eat popcorn.